hi and welcome back to my channel today i wanted to go over my january goals for 2022 and i'm gonna go over my goals for the channel for the quarter or a foreseeable future so to say and such and so as as it be um hi if you are new here my name is jennifer and I do do makeup material and I do unboxings and I talk about agoraphobic material which I will do today and uh, as per my channel name and if you're into any of those subjects or if you're into all of those subjects then I highly suggest that you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and set it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a video. So if you're interested in and those topics today, then hang tight because we are getting right into it. Welcome back, and I'm so grateful that you clicked on my video to watch and spend some time with me. Okay, let me first talk about, um, some of my goals as far as my mental health goes. Um, last month, I don't, I didn't go over my video. I don't know if I made any goals per se. Um, but I did have one achievement that I wanted to talk about. Um, my in-laws came into town and my husband's mother and her husband and their two kids came into town and up from Austin and um, they stayed in a hotel because our house is very small. It is a house, but it is basically an apartment. It might as well be an apartment. It is so small and we have filled it to the brim with just stuff. So they couldn't stay with us and Sometimes they stay with my parents, but they decided to stay at a hotel this time, and we made um, plans for some activities, but the only activity that I took place in, um, Aaron and took the kids, and they went to the video game museum, which is in Frisco. I didn't participate in that, but we did meet up for breakfast one morning at Cracker Barrel, and I went to that, and, um, oh yeah, that was a big deal for me, because I haven't been to a restaurant since 2019, and, yeah, we haven't even ordered out takeout from a restaurant since the pandemic happened and yeah the only takeout we've really ordered was pizza was for pizza and um so it was a big deal for me so yeah the only problem i had was i was doing this the whole time with my leg and um yeah, but we had a nice time visiting with his mom and his stepdad, <coughs> excuse me, and their two kids, and um, it went really great. Um, then Aaron dropped me back off at home, and they went and did um, some indoor go-karting, I think it was, yeah. So that was really the only time I went outside last month. And so, um, you yeah, know, that's all I wanted to bring up. But um, this month I'm setting no expectations for myself. Um, because I am... Um, setting up for myself for 
the next quarter, for the next three months, I am setting up a low buy quarter um, for myself. And so I don't need to be going out and buying things. I know you can go out and not buy things, <sighs> but I don't want to be tempted. And um, we just need to be not spending money, basically, in general. Um, I'm going to be keeping all of my subscription boxes. Well, let me go over the rules for my little buy. Number one is I will be keeping all of my subscription boxes. Now, I'll be getting most of my makeup and my skincare and stuff from that. Um, number two, I won't be buying anything full price full price unless I desperately need something skincare or hair care related and I don't have anything in my backups that can um, do the same thing as it needs so like if I run out of shampoo and I don't have any shampoo in reserves that I will spend money on to buy a shampoo, of course. So, um, number three, I will allow myself to buy things at sales. Like if, um, but I will set a budget for it. Like, um, I will buy things from the Boxy Charm Mega Drop Shop. M drop Shops, Mega Drop Shops. I will buy things from Ipsy Add On. Um, if Sephora has their Rouge sale, because I am at Rouge status, I probably after this year won't be on Rouge status anymore. Um, if Ulta has their 21 Days of Beauty, I will participate in that. But like I said, if I do participate in any sales, I will set myself a budget. And um, number four, I am on a clothing no buy. So I don't need any more clothes at all. So that is actually a no buy. So, um, and exceptions. If I've got two brands that I will buy from, if Natasha Denona or Nomad Cosmetics comes out with a new palette, I will spend the money to buy their new releases. Unless, well, Natasha Denona is like for their mini or their mini palettes. I won't spend the money on their $129 palettes. And, like I said, I will buy Nomad Cosmetics, because those are my two favorite brands. And, even with Natasha Denona, I might wait until um, the Rouge sale at, um, what do you call it, uh, Sephora. But I know sometimes that the... Nomad Cosmetics, sometimes they sell out, so I will buy those as they come out. And um, those are the rules of my low buy slash no buy for the next three months. And I, my goal is to continue it out through the rest of the year. Things might change as we progress through the year, but like I might put myself on restrictions of certain items, but and let myself buy other items, but uh, I gotta do some decluttering of things, and I will do it. Um, as videos come on here as videos and you might think that I don't have 
a lot as far as other people go. But as far as my travel size and stuff, I have plenty of stuff. And I probably won't do any palette declutters, but I need to do a lip declutter. I need to do an everything else declutter because I'm just not using up my stuff like I would like to. You know, I tried doing a project pan, but it really didn't go the way I wanted it to. And as far as content on my channel, I probably will be doing more shop my stashes and less first impressions and more like what's new in makeup type things. I used to do those once a month and I kind of fell off on doing those, but I'd like to start doing those again. And um, get ready with me this and um, probably there will be less of hauls and less of um, favorites and fails kind of things. But I still have lots of stuff I need to get through. So there probably will still be a favorites and fails for this month. And um, yeah, my channel won't be changing that much, but um, it will be less consumption driven and so <laughs> those are kind of my goals for this month. Um, if you are new here, um, I try to talk about agoraphobic materials on Friday, agoraphobic and mental health issues on Friday. I'm kind of hoping Doing this low buy will kind of help my mental health because I do tend to use buying stuff to fill a void that's in me. And hopefully, like, I don't, I, I wouldn't call myself a shopaholic, but most of my expendable income does go towards beauty products. And I would like to like buy more books, read more, um, kind of find a new hobby, kind of to spend my time on, you know, things of that nature. And so that's kind of what I'm ha ha hoping will come out of this. And so, yeah, anyway, um, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you think these changes would be good to my channel or not. Whatever you think. If you, if you like. Um, yeah, and I hope you are having a wonderful, fantastic day out there today. And... If you are not, I hope something comes along and sparks your day so that you can start your weekend off in a great way. And if you are having an especially hard time, then I am hoping the best for you and sending you out those good vibes. And just remember, <coughs> sorry. Remember to stay strong and stay healthy and to stay safe out there. And I really, I won't have a video out tomorrow, but Aaron and I will have a video out together on Sunday. And just stay well until then. Okay. All right. See you later. Bye.